I'm telling y'all right now, I am the only redneck that has a friend that trains his chickens. Go ahead, let's see it. <laughs> How many people do you know train your chickens to jump up for feed? <laughs> the reason that we're out here tonight and everything's cleaned up is this right here. Uh, tonight, we're going to have a special guest. He's due any minute. Um, but yeah, this guy is a motor fixing dude that is just bad to the bone. And uh, so I'll cut from there and we'll wait for him to show up. Stay tuned. So I seen his car pull up a little while ago. I believe the motor man is here. The dogs. Hi, Pop. Hi, Rick. Pop Pop Gringo is in the house. This is the number one motor man. If there is a motor that can't be fixed, he will break it. Right, Dad? I like to tear things apart. Don't like to put them together. I like to tear them apart. And that's why I'm here. So Dad is here, and we're going to get started on this motor. He is the motor man. Uh, he, like he said, he likes tearing them apart. I got to make sure I keep him under control so we can get this thing put back together. I'm going to try to set this camera up. We'll do a time lapse, and if there's anything said that needs to be heard, I'll play that in here. So here we go. We're going to tear this motor. What are we going to do to it, Dad? Pull the head. All right, we're going to pull the head off of it, take a look at it. Are you going to take your saw it? Yeah. We're going to check the valves and the pistons, see if the piston's tight. You said it didn't run right, didn't have no power or something, so I would imagine got leaking valves. We'll find out. Yep, so uh, we did put a compression test on it, and it only pumped it up. What did I say? It, it was like 25 pounds or something like that. It wasn't much. Uh, some of the internet sites said 75, some of them said 50, but we weren't close to either one of those. So here we go, we're going to get started on this motor. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I think, uh, well, I don't know. Doesn't look real happy. A lot of carbon built up around them valves. I wonder if that's a valve like was stuck in my trailer tire last week over there at Donovan's. <laughs> nah, it was a lot bigger than that one. Yeah. Uh, that seems solid. Does it? Yeah. Just a lot, of, uh, a lot of carbon. So if you have a lot of carbon, what does that mean, Dad? You're running rich or running lean? No, this ain't a lot of carbon. That's nice. Yeah? Yeah. That's okay. And then uh, we got some mud wasps growing nests around here. So we'll get all that cleaned up. Um, do you think them valves are okay? We can spin it by hand and just look at them. Ugh. What do you think? Well, I can't tell until they take the valves out. Do they just lift out or do they have, a, they have an E-clip on them, right? I don't know what kind these have. But they're not going to pull right out, right? Oh, hell no. <laughs> hell no. All right, what's the next step, Dad? Take some fairings off of it? Well, we've got to take this off. Get the shields. Bit. All right, get we're going to get you set back up on uh, time lapse and watch this thing come apart. <laughs>
right guys i'm sure you just seen that in the time lapse we were trying to get that flywheel to pop and uh pop up gringo yeah it was whacking uh and when it left loose that bar almost took my gopro out but uh yeah flywheel's coming off here we go easy as one two thirty nine Wall did go through. Yeah. You put it in the keyway. I think that's what left it run through. Yeah, you can see it's yeah. There. All right, so what's next, Dad? I guess we can take these two out and take that plate off. Yeah, yeah we're getting a conglomeration of parts here. Uh well my strap is held on to the uh there it is. Got some tools, got some parts. We had some heat ready, but we didn't need that. Pop pop gringo had that secret whacking ability there but yeah getting there ah so that was all one piece you were trying to make me break that weren't you that was all one piece hmm. pop pop gringo's getting into my spirit here he's putting the screws back in that's a good thing he was trying to put the wrong screw in the wrong hole right from the get-go Right? Trying. I didn't let you though, did I? Huh? Hmm? I didn't let you put it in the wrong hole. No. I kept him straight. You put it in the right hole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do we got down in there? Hmm. Down there, you got the valve springs. That is exactly what was stuck in my rear tire on my dump trailer <laughs> at Donovan's, is that stem right there. So are you gonna pull the valves out? Is that what we're gonna do? So you need something to compress those springs, right? Yeah, like two small screwdrivers. Um, okay, let me get that for you. Mm -hmm. 